The EV Lucian Car Expo brought together stakeholders to showcase the future of transportation in St. Lucia. Among the highlights was a groundbreaking project by students at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. The traveling expo made a stop in Viewfort on Sunday. So what you see with, with, with us right now is a fully converted um, minibus from fossil fuel which or diesel to fully electric. Um, this this project um, was taken by the, taken on by the students of the Sir Community College along with myself and other lecturers in the faculty. Um, we got funding from the OECS Commission. Lecturer at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Cornelius Gideon, says the conversion project demonstrates local technical capabilities. The project, um, I wouldn't say it was difficult because um, conversions have been done um, throughout um, your lifetime. You know that persons move um, diesel engines and they put gasoline engines. What we did was to um, remove the diesel engine and put in uh, an electric motor and a, a, a battery pack. How enthusiastic were the students in terms of co the conversion? Um, the, the students were, were very eager because it's something new that has not been done um, in the entire region. So it was something for, um, for them to look forward to. Um, the, the process took us roughly 14 months to, to, to complete. And um, what you see is the, the end product. Uh, what advice do you have for other people who would probably want to go into that um, venture? Um, what I would say to them is don't be afraid. We have the, the capacity in St. Lucia to, to take on such a, a, a massive project, if you want to call it that. Um, don't be afraid and electric is, is the way to go. Energy officer at the Department of Infrastructure, Kern Antoine Gabriel, explains the Expo's broader goals. This month is being observed as CARICOM Energy Month. Another theme, invest in sustainable energy, accelerate the transition. And as part of our observance for this month's activities, we decided to put on a Evolution Car Expo where we would introduce or educate the public on sustainable transport. So here today we had our stakeholders with a variety of vehicles, hybrids, electrics, and hoping that the public could come on board come learn something and invest in the transition as we support sustainable development. The event also included financial institutions to help facilitate the transition to electric vehicles. So we invited the financial institutions to be part of this, this shift because it is important people who need financing to be able to purchase these vehicles and quite a number of our financial institutions do have offerings for the public. So we invite persons to come on board and check it out. And even after today, they could also walk into the banks and visit our department to find out more about how they could transition. What do you think of the future of the event? We believe there is scope, uh, maybe with a little bit more publicity. Um, going into next year, there might be another event happening at various locations. Organizers plan to expand the event next year. Since Lucia is seeing more hybrid vehicles on its roads in 2024, marking a visible shift as the island moves towards a mixed energy portfolio and reduces its dependence on fossil fuels. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.